I have just logged into the Hermitcraft server and I am dead. I'm at the bottom of my platform. How did I get down here? What has happened here? What has happened here? What did... It doesn't even say how I died. Hello everyone and welcome to Hermitcraft Season 10, Episode 3. I am now a Reaper and I'm not entirely sure what's happened here. Like, I was fine. I was in a little chamber and now I'm down at the bottom and I imagine there is definitely someone else involved here. Let the investigations begin. This is a fairly sorry state of affairs. I'm having to live off of rotten flesh here. Okay, well my AFK platform looks relatively unchanged. Oh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Um, that, that was... That, that revealed a lot of things as the chunks actually loaded in. I'm so incredibly curious as to what happened here. Okay, I can see a slime block, I can see a bunch of cobwebs, and then I can see the top of my tower that has clearly been removed. So, if I was to guess what has happened here, they took me to the top of the world, and then I somehow fell off? <laughs> did they just- did they do all of that just to punch me off the top of the world? <laughs> Unless I wasn't meant to fall off, maybe I wasn't meant to fall off. It's a mystery and hopefully I'll be able to solve it in today's Hammercraft episode. Anyway, let's crack on with today's project. First things first, I wonder how many slime balls our slime farm produced. Okay, that is a very, very large number. I actually probably only need maybe... maybe four of these slime balls, so the rest of them I can just throw away. I definitely don't need these anymore. And I actually don't need the farm anymore, so I guess I'll remove it. There we go, that's much better. So what is this project? Why do I need these leads? Well, I need them because I need to make this build more realistic. You see, I was reading through the comments and lots of engineers were saying that this build right here is impossible. It is not realistic. So to make it more realistic, I'm going to attach some leads to some chickens and use them as structural supports. Nothing says realism like structural chickens. And I think about it, they don't even need to be chickens. You could be structural. The thing is, my build isn't really that big, so I, I don't need something quite as sturdy as this guy right here. A structural sheep would be overkill for this scale. Of course, all the engineers watching already know this. Congratulations, buddy. You are about to become part of a structure. I will be suspending a very heavy build from your neck for, for all eternity. <laughs> this is a certified peace, love, and plants moment. Okay, let's see. If I can just get my chicken to go into this spot here. Okay, that's gone well. That's gone well. Just need something to hold him in place. There we go. Okay, he's sorted, he is in, and then if I attach this lead to this, is that too far? Is that out of range? Oh, I think it's just out of range. All right, what if we were to go here? There we go. <laughs> We've got, <laughs> so that's our tension cable. So I need to make this look a little bit better. I need to make a slight feature of it, but we've got our first tension cable here, and then we'll have another one going off over to this side. How visible is it from down below? It's that you can see it. If you actually look for it, you can see it. Here it goes, got another chicken. Let's lead him up and take him down to be structured. Right, bud, in your pop. Just gonna push you into this gap here and that should do the trick. Okay, so he's in place. Now I just need to connect up his little lead to the fence and there we go, we have got two structural support cables. Let's just quickly make this a little bit more official looking and our build is now looking incredibly realistic. Look at that, look. These little cables supporting the whole structure. It all looks good now. Engineers, I hope you're satisfied. And could you please now certify this build as being structurally sound and up to code? Now I have a really, 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 really stupid idea. And given the last chapter was to do with structural chickens, that should be concerning. Iskal's base is a bunch of random blocks. So I want to see if I can have a conversation with Iskal and see how many random blocks I can place without him noticing. My goal is 16. If I manage to get 16 blocks, I will be ridiculously impressed, although I feel like that is... That is a challenge. I feel like that might be impossible. This guy's got a good set of ears on him. He's got a good set of peepers on him. I feel like he might be able to catch me out here. Those supports genuinely look really cool from all the way back here. I've let him know that I'm on my way. I don't know why I'm so incredibly nervous. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh gosh, I forget how ugly it is. Hey, Escal. H Hello, sir. Your base is looking great. Your base is looking really, Thank really you. cool as per usual. Um, it has it has a lot of functionality. All the crafters, for and I, um, wow. chests. Yeah. That's good. It's great. It's, it's really, really cool. I mean, what are you, what are you working on over there? Do you, could you care to explain this? Why are you, why are you, why are you creating just big dirt blocks? Oh, it's just a. I just did a parkour 
nothing. Well, it's a, it's one of these parkour courses without a goal. Oh, so yeah, it's like so a, it's like never... a little like jumping jumping around, like not sure what to do sort of thing. Yeah. Right, I'm, go yeah. I'm going back up to I'm, I'm going back up towards your base just because I'm curious at what how it's looking. I'm curious too of an agenda. What What do you mean? What do you? I mean? love having you here. I love having you here. People have been investing lots of diamonds into your build. I know. There's like a whole fortune here. There are four diamond blocks on the other side. <laughs> what? Look at this. Oh, oh! accidentally caught fire. This. Nope, caught fire again. For goodness sake, <laughs> Bobo. What does it say over there? <laughs> it says, uh, re recycling dump. Ren decided that we are like a, a neighborhood. He, he, of course, made himself king. Classic, of course, you know, yeah, that's a typical ministers. Ren dog move. Then he gave everyone tasks. He gave me the tasks to be the Minister of Health to create the nether portal. Wow. Which I did. It's down there. It's... Oh, it's looking really good. Yeah. And then Cleo was the to build a garbage dump. And uh, Wow. So, so... <laughs> so this is your neighborhood. This is your neighborhood forming. Who else is your who else are your neighbors? Like who's is that little red build over there? I think that's fall symmetry. Is it? Oh, do you mean that? Yeah, yeah, the little villa down there with the chimney burning. Oh, that's a really cool little build. That is cool. And then over we have uh, vintage beef over yonder by all the puppies. Yep. And yeah, uh, I've been to I've been to Beef's house because it was uh because obviously that's where the villager was. Did you get that sorted, by the way? Yeah, yeah, it worked out perfectly. It's great. What What did he say? It's, uh, oh, you'd have to go to Vodskal eighty five and check my video. <laughs> yeah, video. Wait. <laughs> go subscribe. Yeah, you go really... subscribe. <laughs> That's the first real advert that you've done so far. Yeah, they, there it is. <laughs> there it is. You've done you better so... keep that in mind, Bob. <laughs> I actually watched your video. I noticed you kept all three Iskals in. I've got comments saying, Iskal, are you okay? Mambo was very rude to you. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> really? And I was like, what? What That's are you ridiculous. talking about? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I've, been, I've been nothing but lovely to you. No, you, you, or you're always lovely. The, your moustache is pure warmth. Pure Thank heat you. Thank you. How many me. bamboo have you got over here, by the way? I can't help but notice oh, that the number of bamboo that I've been getting has been gradually increasing. Oh, have you seen the second one? Yeah. Well, how do they keep arriving? I have to ask now. Okay, you have inspired me, actually. Mm hmm Next time I'm saying I'm coming over to someone, I'm not going to actually say anything. Wait, you're doing what I did to you. <laughs> no, no. No, I've, I, I, I've, got, I've got something that I'm working on. Mumbo, have you added to the base? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is new. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Is what it? What are you doing, Mumbo? This, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I didn't have these here. These two blocks. Wait, these are also new. Did you just? I saw you place a block now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what are you doing? Are you trying to slowly cover up the base? <laughs> no. Is this your plan? <laughs> uh, I have a confession to make that uh, I, I wanted to see how many blocks I could, <laughs> how many blocks I could add to your build <laughs> while we were talking. <laughs> Without you oh, noticing. No. <laughs> how much? How many did you get? I don't I know. One, gonna... two, three, four, five. There's a lot. There was a lot. Oh, there's a lot. The <laughs> loads. I'm a bit upset. I had 21 diorite, <laughs> but I thought, I thought, I thought you would notice the diorite in my hand and draw attention to it. Um. Oh gosh, I have to do some fast maths. I think there's some around the back as well. I yeah. No, I don't know. How I don't did even you get blocks here. I was showing you the diamond stuff and things. <laughs> I know. I know, I've been pretty sneaky. And there's one oh, inside. there's one inside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's one inside. I was, I I was starting to get concerned, because I was like, man, I'm running out of things to ask Iskala about. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I... oh, so you weren't actually <laughs> yeah. interested in the No, 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 I am, I am, sense. I am. I, I get it, I, I get thought, it. I thought I could ask you to read that thing, but then the problem is you stood, like, back here. So you were reading it from oh. back here. I was like, ah, oh, I thought, oh. I thought maybe you might, you might kind of like walk over here, and then I'd be able to just like spray blocks behind you. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't hear it. I was so conscious that you'd just hear like, clunk, 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 clunk. but I heard. Oh. So I heard you place this block, but I thought oh. that you took it down to jump up. Oh, so I like, I looked at you, and I was like, ah, oh, that's fine. He's jumping up <laughs> in the building. That's fully normal. It's, you know. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's, that's really funny. funny. <laughs> that's funny. Oh. If any of the hermits want to try and beat my score, 
<laughs> You're more than welcome to try. Poor Iskow's gonna think he's got lots of new friends when actually people just want to quietly add blocks to his base. Right, it's time for another new project. I'm in the redstone testing world and I'm trying to think of ways to get into the mothball. Yes. I guess that is what we're calling it now. I thought I could potentially launch myself up into it, but that doesn't seem that exciting. Enderpearl stasis chambers seemed interesting, but I would inevitably forget to put the enderpearl back and never be able to get into my base again. And a pair of dangling pigs did actually seem promising, but I think I've done enough animal abuse for this Hermitcraft episode, so I'm just gonna kill myself and spawn in my base. Then when I want to get out, I can just grab the items from the chest to store a system inside and drop through one of the trap doors. Just like so. Now the only slight issue with killing myself is that there's no way for me to get items up into my base because obviously when I die I just kind of splat them out on the floor. So I've created this system here which will sit inside the mountain and that will launch the items across into the mothball. It's perfect. It's practical. It's intelligent, it's smart, it's probably the smartest thing I've ever thought of, so let's build it on the Hermitcraft server. First thing I needed was a slime block and a sticky piston. So I went over to the swamp, rebuilt my old slime farm and got myself some slime balls. But then I remembered that the sticky piston and the slime block were actually a part of the circuit that wasn't in use anymore. So I threw away the slime balls and redestroyed my old slime farm. Then it was time to gather some bits and bobs. Do you, do you know if there's any ice anywhere? <laughs> I have none. Uh, I think there's some that way. As in like blocks of ice because I don't have silk touch. <laughs> ah. No. <laughs> oh, man. No. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, so I'm going to have to get silk touch. I'm on three levels. Is there an XP grinder anywhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, uh, come, there's, come, the, come. there's the end There's the end one, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, do we have an end one? I don't know. I think Jevin said that he was thinking about building one. Thinking about it does not mean it exists. I think it's just... I see. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. Listen, good luck. There must be something else I can do. Hello, good sir. Hold on. Hello? <laughs> hello? Oh, hello. <laughs> well, now, I can hear now I can hear myself. Something's broken. <laughs> yeah, evidently. Yeah. I hate myself. I'll see you later, Mumbo. <laughs> no, right. I actually need it. I have, a, I have a genuine question to ask you. I have a genuine okay, question to it. ask you, which is, do, do you know anyone who has any ice, or do you have any ice? The answer is no to both of these questions. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. I wish you all the best with your audio problems. I'm going to go ahead by the wall. Did you see that, viewers? Despite his glaring faults, I managed to not blast Ren. That's progress. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh, oh my gosh, it's Mumbo. <laughs> Hello there, Mumbo. Are you just tooting your horn? Is that how you... Is that how you arrive on the server? You literally just logged in and then just blared your horn as loudly as possible. If you had a horn, would you do the same? I would do exactly the same. In fact, this is all I'd do. I don't know how you're doing anything other than doing that. I have like a, a little question. Do you have silk touch at all? I do, I do, I do, I do. Oh my goodness. Do you have any ice? Oh no, I don't even know where one would get ice. Not even a clue. Do Look, you need to borrow is... the, the silk touch? I, I, if, if that is okay, I would love to borrow it just to literally mine like eight pieces of Ooh. ice. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was like, you can have this. It's not a fair trade for the time being, but I will. <laughs> it's really, it's really I'll not. Get a it fair... on me. has like like five hits left on it. <laughs> it's really not fair trade at the minute. My boy, I've been, I've been, I've been grinding for days for that. So you, you don't worry. One, one mustache hair. You take okay. that and you, and you, you, you get your ice. I will, I will, I will be back in literally like five minutes. Uh, just as a thing, if I do die uh -huh. with it and I was to lose it, what what happens? Oh, Mumbo, we'll talk about that when the when the moment comes. <laughs> there it is. There is the ice. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculously satisfying. I always forget how satisfying this is. And now that I've got my ice, I think it's time to play a prank on Scar. The premise is simple. I'm going to put all of this stuff into a chest and then jump into a lava lake. Here goes, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I can see him. <laughs> Hello, Scar. <laughs> Mumbo, you were going to get ice, not lava. I don't know how this happened, Scar. It was terrible. I just mined, I mined a bit of ice, and then, and then it was just lava. How do these things coexist? How do they coexist? Mumbo, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get I it. I don't get it. How either. is there ice under lava? No, that was like ice over lava. Ice over lava. I was standing on the ice, you know, and then... Do you know how much anguish it went to get that big ice? <laughs> I can imagine. I, you know I how can imagine. Do you know how many enchanters I destroyed? <laughs> I can imagine. I'm really sorry, Scott. Look, okay, I'll, le I'll let you... 
Uh, what, what do you want? What come do you with want? me, come with me. Okay, what's happening? <laughs> what's gonna happen? <laughs> Mumbo? Mm-hmm. I want that pickaxe back. <laughs> this is a great trade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a second, what in the world? <laughs> I've been bamboozled! I've been bamboozled by the highest regard! <laughs> oh, you got me. Oh, you got me good. Oh. No, that doesn't seem fair. That doesn't seem fair. No, 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 no. I thought I'd, I thought I'd, I'd play a little prank on you. I just jumped into a lava pool. Uh, all the ice is oh, fine. Oh, yeah. Jeez, never, never <laughs> underestimate the Pringles, man. Unbelievable. You know, you are the second person who's given me a diamond block. I must just exude poverty, I guess. <laughs> yes, this man right here. Yeah, is fully suited and booted. Yeah. You look like the man who's going to take your money at the bank. Right, let's get this actual build all constructed. There are a few bits of tiny resource gathering to do so that I can collect all of the items for this redstone build. This, of course, is the first redstone thing that I've constructed on my Minecraft. So it's always, it's always a little bit tricky to just kind of pick up all the odds and sods. I cannot wait for there to be a shopping district on a Hermitcraft season 10 but then it was a process of just building up the little item dropper and then the item transportation water stream that takes all of the items upwards and making sure that our water stream actually lined up with the mothball this is something that i was kind of unsure on to be honest with you i had tried my best to create an approximation in the testing world but it wasn't 100% accurate in the slightest so i was very very happy to see that the items were actually traveling across and actually landing a lot higher on the mothball than I was expecting, which means that in the future, I can actually make like a proper, decently sized storage system. All the items that go up there can actually funnel into say four or five double chests, which is pretty cool. So with everything completed, it's now time to give it a test. So I've set my spawn up at the top there. I'm just going to send some deep slate through the system and that is going to be transported through into the mothball. So we should be able to access that in a second. Now I've got to go and kill myself, which surely shouldn't be too difficult. Right, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, that should do the trick. Oh my goodness. Oh, I need to take a final one. I need to take a final heart. Excellent. And I didn't set my spawn. <laughs> and I, I can't get up into my base to set my spawn. Was this seriously the best idea I could come up with? No, this is a dirt pillar of shame. But it should be the last dirt pillar of shame I ever need to do. Because from this point forth, my base is completely accessible. And it's really, really simple to get into. See, look. There it is. I'm in. <laughs> I'm inside. And my items, my items are inside. Everything is working properly. This thing's fantastic. We've got structural chickens. It's it's super accessible. This is the best starter base I've ever made. And nobody should say otherwise, please. It would really hurt my feelings. Now I have a mystery to solve. The mystery of my own murder. You know, I really wish I had Scar's binoculars, but I still think the spyglass is going to help us here because I'm going to turn myself into a detective. First things first, I need to make my way over to the swamp, the place where the crime was committed. You know, as I'm walking along here, I'm picking up I'm picking up tracks of a certain pair of players, but I'm, I'm not going to say who just yet. Now, of course, for this investigation to be accurate, I have re-rebuilt my old slime farm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can even smell it in the air, you know, and the these tracks, it's obvious. This was Tango and Jevin. Tango and Jevin have been around here. I was up there on my AFK platform. I believe they created a slime block flying machine and pushed me up to the world limit. But then they became concerned that I was going to be able to jump and clear the edge of my farm and land in the water. But here's the thing, I don't know if Tango and Jevin are smart enough to think of the cobwebs. That leads me to believe that somebody else was involved. Yeah, if I inspect these closely, this seems like the sort of idea that Etho would come up with. So they sent me up to the build height, they wanted to put me in a position where I was unable to jump off, but they forgot about one important thing. Phantoms. I believe a phantom knocked me off of the slime block causing me to fall to my death. I was then disconnected from the server when the server restarted, so when I rejoined, 
I was there with no death message and no evidence. I think that just about concludes the investigation, and to be honest with you, I couldn't be much more proud of my investigation skills. I hope you enjoyed this Hermitcraft episode, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya! Ooh, okay. Oh.